lots of people started blogs, right? And back in 2014, 2015, you know, a lot of people began doing that. And th how long did they stick with it for? That's really the question I want you to ask. Maybe you started a blog. How long did you stick with it for? Most people I'd say gave up after a couple weeks. <laughs> This is Jason Canigan of Sales on Fire, and today Facebook Memories reminded me that it is the third year anniversary of my blog at salestactics.org, which is what this series, Sales Tactics, is named after. And I wanted to remind you about sticking to something and the power of sticking to something. See, lots of people started blogs, right? And back in 2014, 2015, you know, a lot of people began doing that. And th how long did they stick with it for? That's really the question I want you to ask. Maybe you started a blog. How long did you stick with it for? Most people, I'd say, gave up after a couple weeks because it was too hard. It became work. <laughs> and that's really the problem. When something quickly moves from being fun to being work, people give up. But the secret is to keep going when it becomes work. The secret is to keep at it, just like I'm making these videos. Some days I don't feel like making them, but I make them anyway. That's the difference, because you want a body of work. See, a body of work positions you as someone who knows about the thing that you're talking about, and you need it. One video is not enough. Five videos is not enough. A couple articles on a, on a website that was left alone two years ago is not good enough. It's not professional. It doesn't demonstrate to the world that you know what you're talking about in that field of study, okay? You really need a body of work. And even if you're a cautious person and you're you know, interested in kind of covering your butt and that a body of work is important, like a blog or a video series or both, because you can use that to go back into the job world and differentiate yourself. I mean, do you think if I wanted to go be a sales director or sales frontline salesperson, I guess, for some company, I wouldn't stand out because of the body of work that I've got here. Anybody looking to hire somebody who took the time to have a look at the blog or have a look at these videos, they would know very quickly I knew what I was talking about and that would set me far, far ahead. It's insurance. Okay, if you want to think about it that way. Now, I have no interest in going back into the employment field, but that may help you with the continuing of creation when it comes to sticking with something. Okay, a lot of people give up after with online marketing, three days. I've seen it, three days of sustained effort and then they give up because it, it goes from being fun to being work. And you got to watch yourself for this. The moment something moves from being fun to being work is that danger point where you can go, eh, yeah, well, it's work now. I don't really want to do it anymore and give up. So that is the point, actually, when you need to dig in and keep going. And look at it with the long term, okay? To create something, to create a brand, to create a site that people want to go to, to create a video series that people want to subscribe to, you have to keep at it. You have to, you have to learn. Right? There's things about engagement that you're going to learn over time. The, the blog posts that I write now are quite different from the ones that I first wrote uh, for a couple reasons. One, I learned how people actually read when it comes to, to blogs. And it's different than how you would read a, a, an article in a trade magazine or a journal or something like that, or even a newspaper. You've got to organize your paragraphs differently. The second thing was when I first started out, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to focus on. So I tried a bunch of things. There's a few different approaches. I'm just going to give you two from my own experience. One is uh, you can talk about what you know to be true and your point of view in that. And that's what I eventually stuck with because that's why people hire me is for my unique point of view and how I apply that to sales and marketing. So the other option which i kind of dabbled in was to compare contrast talk about what's going on in the industry news somebody released a new product some some new newsworthy noteworthy thing happened that we need to talk about right hosts of, of sports talk radio do this every day they never run out of news right if the team wins it's news if they lose it's news if they take a video in the locker room and release it on facebook it's news that's good for a week 
<laughs> we just ran into that. And you can develop authority by, by doing that, right? But guys who review technology, new tech items that come out all the time, whether it's a, a, a new laptop or a tablet or a camera or some kind of mini PC or something like that, right? Those guys are developing authority and, and branding of their own. And they're creating a body of work, which is what I was just talking about, for you to intercept, right? It's like a big net and they're gonna catch you in it. There's a guy who I follow for tech and I trust that guy. I trust that guy to give me fair, good, unbiased review and, and he's very good about his disclosures and so i follow him about you know whether this was sponsored or not right and he doesn't usually do sponsorship so you know after you watch a, a dozen videos from that guy you're going to get the picture right this guy is trustworthy and i can believe what he says okay next time i go and buy a tech item or look at buying a tech item i'm going to go see if that guy has a review that's what all this content is about that's being created is creating a trustworthy brand okay about what you want to talk about and you can do it whatever way you want there's no right or wrong way it would if i started reviewing other sales training programs or books or talent people celebrities you know if i if i decide to go down that route there would be nothing wrong with it i would i would succeed just as well as i have here Okay, but I would rather sit here and have these more personal one on one talks, right? I think that's a better, better use of my skill and my time. Anyway, if you want to do something like this, the idea is you have to stick with it. I mean, I'm actually surprised it's been three years. I didn't think it had been three years. I knew it had been two, but I, I didn't, uh, it didn't click that, you know, hey, it's January and that's when I decided to take this website salestactics.org i had this domain sitting around for a year while i thought what am i going to do with this thing okay so it's an evolutionary process you don't get from zero to 100 miles an hour in in two seconds you have to stick with it right everything's growing everything you know you have to continuously create in order to get where you want to go so Happy birthday, number three, to salestactics.org, the unorthodox business development blog. I hope you can hop over there and have a look at it. Uh, once you get inside, you can, you know, which means looking at a, an actual post rather than being on the homepage, you can look down the side and by month, I've got, you know, you could look up May 2015 and, and look at all the posts for that month. There's a lot of hidden gems in there. Just because something is a couple years old, in sales and marketing doesn't mean it's outdated. Human nature doesn't change. The principles don't change. The technology changes, but the human nature and the principles don't change. People behave the way that they did a thousand years ago. Okay, Nothing has really changed there. So go there and have a look. There's a huge body of knowledge there that you can access. All right, of, of my personal take on business development. So appreciate you taking the time to watch and if you're going to develop something for yourself remember to stick with it stick with developing the brand go in it for the long haul okay in fact the more you can disassociate yourself from the outcome like i don't really care if this works or not i'm just going to stick at it and and week in week week out i'm going to make a video or i'm going to write a blog or whatever and suddenly you'll have 52 of these things right and now you got a body of work started you got your foundation there this is jason canigan from sales on fire thanks for watching mm -hmm.